Hi everyone, today we're going to continue our exponents journey. Um, when we are looking at multiplying powers that have the same base, we're going to also learn about what this property is called and why it works the way that it works. So the first thing we're going to look at is if we happen to have the same base. So for example, if I had 2 to the power of 4 times, so notice I'm multiplying here, not adding, I'm multiplying times 2 to the fifth power. In order to write this as an expression, that is a simplified expression, we are just going to pay attention to the exponents. You will not be looking at the bases. Okay, so we're just going to rewrite the base. You're not multiplying the bases. So the property says that we would just simplify this down. So we're only going to be focused on the 4 and the exponent of 5. So when we write this, again, our base is 2, but the exponents, we're just going to add those. So 4 plus 5. So our new number is 2 to the power of 9. So our new expression is 2 to the power of 9. This is called the product of powers property. It says that we can just add the exponents and simplify it down to one base and one exponent. And that happens when it wants you to multiply the same base. Let's look at another one, another example of this property. So example B, I have negative five times negative five to the sixth power. So the first thing we need to do here is we need to first look at our bases. Are the bases the same? In this case, they are. In our last lesson, we talked about the parentheses going around the negative five because once you solve it, um, the exponent might disappear or I mean the negative sign might disappear depending on how many exponents you had. Mm -hmm. However, this one, we don't have a parentheses because it's only one single negative five. So you can take this number here, this negative five, and rewrite it as negative five to the first power times negative five to the sixth power. Now what you have is the same base being multiplied. But the reason why originally it didn't have any parentheses is because it's redundant. It is one negative five. So we didn't need to have the exponent there. So next step on, our, on this to simplify this down now what we're gonna do is we're just going to add the powers. So we're just rewriting the expression so that we have the powers. So we're gonna take the one and the six and we're gonna add those. So negative five to the power of one plus six and our final answer is negative five to the power of seven. So we're just going to keep those parentheses around it and move it down. And now we have one exponent and everything has been condensed into one. So our final answer would be negative five in parentheses to the seventh power. Again, this is called the product of powers property. And we'll write about that at the end. I just want to keep showing it to you in action. Okay, so let's do another example. Example C. Example C uses um, some letters for you. So if we were looking at algebra, how to simplify this down, 
Um, if we had x to the third times x to the seventh, we again would solve it the exact same way. First, we're going to look at what is the base. Well, the base is x. So we have x, and now we're going to look at these exponents, and we're just going to add them. So this is saying 3 plus 7. So my final answer is x to the power of 10. This works because of the product of powers property. Okay, so let's go ahead and write out the product of powers property as our vocab. Product of powers property. I'm sorry that my dog is snoring. Product of powers property. So the property says that when we are multiplying powers with the same base, all we do is add their exponents. So to multiply powers with the same base, add their exponents. And then it's simplified down and eventually you can solve those problems. Okay, so let's go ahead and product of powers property. If they have the same base, we're going to add exponents. So product of powers says to add the exponents when you are multiplying the same base. So again, it's really important to look and see what's the operation in the middle of the two bases that are the same because it's multiplication. We can just add, um, add up their exponents. I think that we could look at this um, if we were to look at example D. If we were to look at 4 to the 2 times 4 to the 3, and we were to simplify this down by writing 4 to the 2 plus 3, which equals 4 to the 5, we're going to see that we end up with the exact same thing, and that's why this works. So I'm going to start with this one first. 4 to the 2 is like saying 4 times 4 times, we have a times there, and then I'm going to look at this problem here, which is 4 to the 3rd, times 4 times 4 times 4. Again, you have one, two, three, four, five, five fours, or four to the fifth power. So that's why this problem, this problem works. Again, it's the same thing as up above. If we had two to the fourth, if we were to write two to the fourth out, that's like saying two times two times two times two times five more. 2 times 2, right? And if we were to add all of these up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, it's 2 to the ninth power. So that's how they get this product of powers property to be able to work. When you add up the exponents, you get the same amount. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go on to um, two triads. So go ahead and um, get ready to hit pause so that you can solve. So triad number one. Triad number one, we're multiplying powers with the same base. We're going to look at, ooh, let's do a half. So negative one half to the third times negative one half to the sixth. And then try it number two. Try it number two is z times z to the twelfth. 
So go ahead and hit pause right now so you don't hear me solving. And then when you are ready, go ahead and hit play. Um, so that way you can solve these problems. All right. Um, this is the same thing as saying three. So negative one over two to the power of three plus six, or I have negative one half to the ninth power. So again, this is three times, this one three times, so when I count up how many negative one halves I have, I end up with nine of them. Okay, let's look at number two. On number two, the first thing I need to do is look at my exponent. Right here, I don't have an exponent, but I do have one z, and z to the power of one is really just one z. That one is invisible. So I now have one z, and I have 12 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So for a grand total, <laughs> that's a lot of z's. So this is the same as saying I have z one plus z twelve, which gives me z to the thirteenth power. Okay, or I have thirteen z's. All right, it is your turn now to answer your essential question. How do we multiply powers with the same base? So how do we multiply powers when they have the same base? Writing our new expressions. And then go ahead and put your level of understanding out to this side. Where are you at with your learning? And then when you are re ready or done, you can come on back to the Google Meet and ask for help or you may go on to your practice work. As always, I appreciate all of your hard work and effort and make it a great day.